hey everyone so let's take a look and see what has you triggered okay what has you triggered who has you triggered at this time this is a general message here will not apply to everyone's situation somebody had a one night stand and it ruined them so yeah what has you triggered is that someone had a one night stand or you did and it messed you up <laughs> Goodness, okay yeah okay that happens I don't know how it ruined it, but it could have ruined a relationship. Someone could have done that and messed up the whole connection. It's a trigger warning. You may know this. You may intuitively feel that someone did this here, okay? At the top is, I made a bad choice and regret it. So what has you triggered is that someone here makes dumb decisions. And later on, they want to apologize to you, you know, about... They're dumb decisions. Someone had a one-night stand. Their friends and family didn't approve, and they feel like you let yourself go. Okay, so this person here makes excuses for why they went out and did what they did. They also say your, their, fam, their friends and family didn't approve of you, or somebody's friends and family didn't approve of someone here. I also get the feeling like someone tried to bring a another person around the family or friends, and they didn't like that person. I feel like they... They told that to whoever this is that they should have stayed with you. Okay. Um, but I feel like someone here makes excuses for their behavior. And that's what's triggering you because they just wanted to do what they wanted to do. And it had nothing to do with you. And I feel like you know that. So what's triggering you? What else? What's triggering you? And also, yes, friends and family may not approve of 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 you but that's that doesn't have anything to do with your relationship with this person i can't give you what you deserve so this person here um what has you upset is that this person here wants to say that they can't give you what what you deserve but at the same time they will go out and try to please everybody else because they can't give you what you deserve but they'll worry about what their friends and family say so i see exactly why you um started to pull back from this person because they have no spine okay whoever this is yeah we're both to blame they don't take accountability for anything but at the same time they're in the back of their mind or they may have said this to you that they want another chance this this person here they said i want you to be happy close the door caleb Let me close the door. Hold on. Okay. So, they say, I want you to be happy. And then it says, I have a family elsewhere. So, we have two mentions about family. Somebody is heavily in, involved in their family or their family is heavily involved in their business. And I feel like this person, because they don't take a stand other than the one night stand that they have, because they don't take a stand for the connection, I feel like you pull back. Like, what what you going to fight for if this person's going to go and follow their family? Let them go. You would lose it if you knew who it was. Yeah, this person is not right. And this is what has you upset. This person here, I feel like they don't really have boundaries. I feel like they have no boundaries because you would lose it if you knew who it was. Well, then who was it? Somebody that the family approved of. So somebody just, you know, kind of waste your time here. And that has you upset because not only were they not trying to put in the effort to please you, they were so busy trying to please everybody else. And maybe you did let yourself go because you didn't feel like this was worth you uh, getting dressed up for. It wasn't worth you doing anything. This was a spiritual lesson for you. This person was in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Yeah, that they, they can't give it. Yeah, whoever this is, they could have a family somewhere else. Wait, the time is not quite right. And friendship. So maybe this person wants to be friends or maybe it started out as friends or something. And the time just, you know, mm -mm. something just wasn't right time in here. All right. I'm here in Usher now, right one, wrong place, wrong time, whatever the song is, second chance, 
Someone wants to take a chance. <clears throat> but no, because some of you, this person has a family or they're heavily influenced by their family and they're blaming you for the relationship not not working when really it was them and their superficial um beliefs here i don't know i don't know let me go to the revealed intention deck what's this someone is realizing a connection is deeply spiritual they may have thought the relationship was physical based yep Mm. So for some of you, maybe you slept with this person one time and then, you know, they may have thought that they could just get rid of you like that. And it didn't happen or something like that. No, I feel more of like this person had a one night stand with someone else. You found out about it. They didn't realize how deep the connection was between the two of you. But because of their family and their friends influences, it caused them to sabotage this connection. Hmm. What else? What did I see? Someone is heavily influenced by close friends and family. It may be difficult for this person to make decisions on their own because of the opinions of others. This person here went and slept around, probably got a group of you know family members or friends that do this shit. They went out and had a little a fling. Possibly because their family don't feel like you're the one for them. Or even if it's that, I don't even feel like for some of you it's that. This person has a certain group of friends, a family that may, they just, they're just non-committal. And this person is associating themselves with these type of people. And of course, they're not going to approve because you're not going for the stuff that they do. Uh -huh. And some of you, they just got children. They got family elsewhere. They got some other stuff going on that they don't. They may not be being honest about. Some of you would lose it if you if you knew who it was. If somebody you know or somebody you know about, I would just cut this person off and keep it pushing. To be honest. Yeah, they live in a double life. They may be married or involved in another connection. This person may be hiding their sexual fantasies or preferences. This person had a one night stand, whether it was with a man or a woman. I don't know. Um, some of you know because there's you would lose it if you knew who it was. It could have been another. Hmm. Like I said, for some of you, this person. Could have brought someone else around the family. They did not approve of this person. Or they know that their family would not approve of their of them bringing a certain type of person into the family. <sighs> yeah, guys. Y'all yeah. let me know how this how this goes because it's crazy to me. I mean, I get it. But this is somebody who's too focused on other people's opinions. If they want to live a different a lifestyle, you know, they should be free to do it. Why are you worrying about what other people have to say? Because for some of you, this is a same-sex situation. They could be in a marriage, but they could, you know, be involved in a, a same-sex situation that they're not ready to come out about i'm getting that also but they feel a very strong connection to someone that they're not they just not ready that's all i'm gonna say bottom of the deck someone's gonna always love someone unconditional love whether together or apart i feel like it might just be time to part until this person, you know, is willing to accept their truth. You know what I'm saying? That they really love you and that they want to be with you or if they want to be with someone else. Whatever the case is, someone needs to be truth, uh, truthful about what it is that they want. All right. So I'm going to leave it right here, guys. Leave it in the comments if this resonates.